Hello my beautiful crafty friends. I am Katya with Lunar Sun Creations and if you've watched my past couple videos I've been making some um, acrylic uh, skins. So acrylic paint just on a substrate that won't stick and just making a skin out of it that you can peel off once it's dry. So today I am going to make a mosaic out of some of these skins and also show you a couple other things that you can do with uh, acrylic skins. So I'm going to clear off this and I will get going. Okay, so I am going to use just this clear dinner plate. I just got it at the dollar store. There's nothing exciting about it except that it's got a nice flat base which is where I'm going to be doing the mosaic on the bottom side of this. Okay, so I have drawn a circle the same size as the base out of paper and then I drew just a really basic sketch. It's just some vague mountains and lines that are going to be the sky. And then I took a piece of acetate, cut out that same circle and traced over my pencil lines with markers so that I can see it on the acetate. And now I am going to cut along these acetate lines just to make myself um, kind of like a, a mask or a stencil that I can use to put on my skins and cut the pieces out. So I'm going to cut each of these and I'm going to kind of place it back on here as I go just so I don't get the pieces all mixed up. You can even put a little tiny piece of score tape on each section so that you don't lose any of the pieces. Actually, that's a good idea. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to cut each of these pieces out. So the mountains that are in the foreground, I'm going to try and cut out of a little bit darker um, of the skin and the ones in the background, I'll try and cut out of a lighter skin. Uh, I'm going to use green for my mountains and then blues and purples I think for the sky. Doesn't have to be an exact cut, I'm just doing this roughly. Just want the impression of mountains. You want to do a pattern that's uh, fairly simple in design because um, the you don't want to get too intricate with trying to cut the skins because they are fairly delicate. So um, now these lines in between because I want a little bit of space in between my skylines. So I'm going to trim a little bit in between each of these just so there's some space. Okay, so now this is all cut out into individual pieces. So now I'm going to get my skin. So I'm going to use this one here to start. So I want the mountains in the foreground to be fairly dark. Okay, so I'm just going to trace my piece with a marker on the skin. And then I'm going to cut that out on the inside of my marker line. When you're working with the skins, try to make sure to not let it fold in on itself because it will stick to itself. Okay, and once it's cut out, flip your plate over, kind of see how it looks. You're going to have to, so this is the side that I want to show, this green side. So you're going to have to um, adhere it down this way. Okay, so that when you flip it, when you flip the plate over, the green side is showing. And you know what I'm going to do, just to help me out here, I'm going to place my plate on top of my sketch design and roughly trace it on the inside of the plate. So it is permanent marker, but uh, if you're drawing on glass, um, you can wipe it away again 
with uh, some isopropyl alcohol. So this will give me a better guideline of where they're supposed to go. Okay. So this one's supposed to go somewhere in this vicinity. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna use clear Elmer's glue to adhere it. And I'm gonna put it down on the actual plate itself and then stick the skin on. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the next piece. So I'm going to stick to the darker tones again for this one. Okay, so the mountains that are in the distance, I'm going to want them to be a little bit lighter. Um, so when I take my stencil, so it needs to go like that. So because I want this side of the skin to be showing when the plate is flipped the other way, I have to flip all of my stencils over um, like the opposite direction. Just so we're good. when I flip these over, they're going to be on the proper side. So I think I'm going to go up here where this, the green is a little bit lighter. Okay, so again, just tracing the mountain shape. Place this on and then flip it over just to see kind of what I'm working with. I'm actually going to use Sharpie on the back side and kind of trace this mountain range in hopes that maybe it, it reads a little bit more like mountains. Okay, I'm just going to trim off the little excess here. Now I'm going to do the sky. So I think I'll start lighter and go a little bit darker as we go up. Okay, so I cut out the rest of my pieces off camera just to save a little bit of time. So this is the back side of each one of the pieces. So I'm gonna glue them on and then you can kind of see what it looks like from the front and then we can get rid of our marker lines on the front of the plate. And I'm leaving a little gap in between each of them just to kind of make it look a little more mosaic-esque. And 
It's not going to be a perfect pattern. I'm not striving for, for perfection. I'm just, I want like a vague essence of a scene. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a perfect scene. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. Um, I'm going to put it on wax paper just in case the glue is seeping out at all. I don't want it to stick to anything. And I'm just going to spritz some isopropyl alcohol on top of my plate where I've drawn the lines. And erase them with a baby wipe. And there's my very simple scene. Now you can clean up, once the glue is completely dry, you can kind of clean up these edges a little bit to make it a little more round. So I am going to do that. I just want to make sure that they're not going to move. So I'll just take an X-Acto blade and uh, do that. I kind of wish that I'd put a, like a sun or something up there, but that's all right, this one was just gonna be simple. So I'm gonna let the glue dry. I'm gonna use this polycrylic uh, varnish. Um, it's a clear gloss varnish on top of this. So I'm gonna put, I'll do a couple really thin layers. Um, let me just show you another piece that I've done in the same mosaic way. So this one is much more colorful. This is like a rainbow. I've got like a spiral in the center and then a rainbow mosaic all the way around. So this is another one that I've done. I haven't completely finished um, sealing the back yet. So obviously you could use this as a serving plate, but you wouldn't be able to um, put it in the dishwasher or you know, soak it in water or anything, even with a few coats of some kind of polycrylic uh, varnish. Or you could even use like a, uh, a deco art top coat or um, like just a gloss gel, anything that's going to seal it. But even with a few coats of that, you'll still um, have to treat the backside with uh, a little bit of tenderness. All right, so uh, this one, I, I might do the outside in like white possibly, but I haven't decided if I'm gonna do the outside or not. I might keep it clear. Um, this one I think looks really awesome with the outside around it like that. And let me show you just a couple other things that I've done with some of my uh, skins. Did you know that you could die cut acrylic skins? So for this one I just took some of the skins that I only liked certain parts of and I used a hexagon nesting die and just made a whole bunch of different sizes of hexagons and made it into a print and then sealed that with some gloss. Um, I painted this frame white. I think I might do a little bit of hexagon um, stencil. I've got this really cool beehive stencil, so I might do a little bit of stenciling around the edge of that and then uh, hang that up. And then, um, these I actually did a little while back, but you can also make cards out of your skins. So there's a couple cards that I've made. Uh, I do have quite a few other ideas, uh, but I'm gonna save those for uh, another video. So in the next video, I'll do a few more, and I also have three different ways uh, to make jewelry out of acrylic skins, which is uh, also going to be in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. I've got lots of things in the works, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit that subscribe button if you did, and the bell icon as well, so that you can be notified whenever I do upload a video. Thank you so much for all your comments. It's really awesome to hear from you. And I will see you again very, very soon. Find your rainbow. <laughs> Sending you hugs. Bye.